Mist. <lacht> Yo my people, what's good? It's your boy Cedric and I know it's been a minute but I'm back, alright? So, you might remember a while back at the end of 2021 I made a recap video on how my year went, talk to you guys a bit about how it was, what I learned, etc. And at the beginning of this year, 2023, I talked to you guys about my goals, vision, kind of like what I was looking forward to throughout the year, okay? So, right now it's the end of the year and this is my recap video for 2023. So, now 2023. I truly believe this year has been one of the most impactful years of my life and I'm going to get to that in a minute, but for now let's start from the beginning, okay? Some of you might remember from the first video I posted this year, I started off this year with so much momentum. I had so much energy and my focus was just dead locked in, okay? But now one thing about life is there are good days and there are bad days and the bad days are guaranteed. Like you can't escape those. You can't go about your days without having a bad day. Like that's impossible, okay? So I had a couple of those throughout the year. I had a couple of down, a couple of moments where life threw different curveballs my way. And now you see in such situations, what matters the most is how you react to them. And I feel like that's where I went wrong. You see, some of these issues were thrown my way and I was more reactive rather than proactive with them. And that's where I feel like I actually went a bit astray. And the problem with that is I let those small problems get to me and I kept dwelling on them so much. I kept thinking about it so much and that threw me off focus completely. It just derailed my focus for some reason and that, that was my mistake. I let it get to me because I was being very reactive with how I was handling situations at the time, which was very bad. And then the other part is I beat myself up so much about it afterwards because I realized I was burning so much time. I realized I was wasting so much time and I punished myself mentally because of that. Like I kept thinking about it like what's wrong, why do I keep doing this, yada yada yada. I kept beating myself up and now I was just a whole other negative spiral which wasn't good at all. And the thing about the negative spiral is it put me in a distaste for certain things. You see, in my notes up, I have video ideas, like I'll come up with ideas and the same, but even if I came up with them, it's like I couldn't execute them. I just didn't like them anymore. And for, for all of you who know me, like even you, I'm sure you know that, I do this because I like it. Like I actually do YouTube, I consider it like a passion project. It's something I like doing, but I don't do it with any other ulterior motive beside it. I just feel like I'm very creative and I can express that through this. And also I like the reception I get back from people. So that's why I do this. So all in all, how I reacted to situations put me in a bad headspace and I couldn't be as creative as I should have been anymore. And in turn, I wasted so much time dwelling on all that. And I kept beating myself up for all the time I was wasting. It was just so bad for me. Now, the reason why I said 2023 was a very impactful year for me is not because of my wins, but because of my losses, okay? You see, we celebrate our wins and we learn from our losses. I personally always self-analyze, okay? It's not often do we sit down on a win and we try and analyze it, what could we have done better, etc., etc. Of course, we do that here and there, but most times we don't do that as much. But when it comes to losses, especially on my part, I sit down and I actually look back and I'm like, okay, I messed up, what can I do better? So that's why I believe this year is very impactful because I feel like with some of the realizations I made from analyzing how I handled situations, I feel like I put myself in a much better headspace moving forward into next year. And I'm going to get into that right now, okay? With the way I handled situations back then, it was very, very reactive, okay? Not proactive. But the thing, what I should have done in that situation, I should have sat down, I should have looked at the problems, analyzed, okay, how big of a problem is it? Is it really that bad? Is it, does it really require that much attention of mine? And then also, is the problem within my control? Can I fix it or can I not fix it? If I can fix it, definitely try and fix it. If I can't, let it go and don't beat myself up over it. Now that's where I went wrong because I strayed away from that and I didn't understand from a more logical standpoint. So anyone out there, if you're like me or in a similar situation as me where you get into a problem or something happens and you find yourself overthinking a problem and making it seem bigger than it needs to be, this that's what I think you should do. I think you should sit down, okay? Analyze the problem, look at it and gauge how relevant is it? How big is it? Can you fix it? Can you not fix it? And then determine the best possible move there 
and don't allow it to deteriorate your level of output because that's what happened to me and that's why I feel like I went astray, okay? And then also you have to forgive yourself for it. Forgive yourself for the mistake if it happened and you can't fix it anymore and you can't do anything about it anymore, you have to let it go, okay? You have to forgive yourself and move on. Because I feel like if you do all this, you put yourself in a much better position to analyze problems, not let them get to you, but at the same time, it doesn't affect your progress moving forward. And, I, and that's why I believe this has been so impactful for me. Because right now, I truly believe problems thrown my way, I will figure out a way to deal with them without, it, without letting it affect my progress that much. Okay? Of course, it depends on the gravity of the problem. God forbid it's anything major. But anything as minor as what was happening throughout the year, I truly believe I can tackle it easily. Alright? Okay, enough about the bad. I know I've been talking about the bad stuff and all. Taking you guys back a bit to the video I made at the beginning of the year. Remember I talked about how I made not so many goals for myself. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm extremely proud of myself. I managed to tick off most of them. Of course the one I slacked on was YouTube. I won't lie to you guys. I won't be as transparent as possible. The one I slacked on was this, YouTube. But the other ones, the more spiritual and the health side of it all all my days i'm proud of myself i managed to tick most of those goals off and i'm extremely happy with the progress so it's safe to say i'm very grateful for 2023 i'm grateful for the wins and the losses that 2023 had to give to me i'll celebrate my wins and i'll learn from my losses as usual so yeah that, that has been my yeah that has been my 2023 of course i haven't gone as in depth into the different matters and issues that were happening at the time because they're more private and i'd like to keep them that way but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say and I hope me talking about this and me learning this can help someone out there who may be going through something this similar. In case you are and you, you've just watched this video, this is your sign. Do exactly what I've said. Don't beat yourself up anymore and move on and keep carrying on, okay? Otherwise, it's December 31st. This is the last day of 2023 right now. That's when I'm recording this. I spent my Christmas in Kanung with my family. We got back yesterday. And yeah, I had a blast there, it was amazing. Managed to just sit back, reflect on the air, spend time with them, and yeah, it was a good time. You know, it forces me to get off this. Like, I actually detox off my phone, so it's, it's amazing. You need to get away from that sometimes and just like be present for once. So yeah, it was amazing. Hopefully, you had a very, very Merry Christmas, and um, Happy New Year 2024 is tomorrow. I know you're going to sit down, some of you are going to sit down and write those goals, keep them as realistic as possible. And yeah, don't forget, make yourself proud, okay? Go out, get them done. And in case bad days come, be proactive, not reactive. Sit down, analyze, understand how to tackle the situation and move forward. Don't lose progress and keep going, alright? Other than that, it's been your boy Cedric. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for riding with me and supporting me. And keeping me going it really means a lot to me and um yeah i'll see you guys in 2024 wish you all the best happy new year in a bit actually before i go i want to show you guys um of course i have to show you guys a view come on can i not do that we are up at that yeah that's the mountains and all that i'm holding the biggest tripod so ah So, anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.